Well, hey folks, Species7 here. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for stopping by today. We are here with Farm Sim 17 and a map review. And we actually have a complete map this time, guys. This is SDK Borky Agro, a Belarusian map uh, made by Oleg Zayets. So, and I'm assuming in this case that uh, SDK doesn't stand for a software development kit. Um, yeah. There we go. So, this is our spawn point. There are many like it, but this one is ours. And, uh, just a simple little house and yard. With a rather interesting looking way of stacking hay. It's sort of some kind of teepee system or something. Interesting. Alright, so... As I say, this is our spawn point. We've got some small fields back here. Now, these little fields don't seem to be numbered. So, I'm not sure... Well, I mean, I'm sure they're usable. You can plant anything you want pretty much anywhere you want as long as there's a field in this game. So, there we are. Let's have a look at the big map before we get too far. Just so you guys can see what sort of a layout we're dealing with. There we go. And, uh... Well, looks a little bit different in uh, the native language, doesn't it? So, here we are. A decent sized little map, good single player. We own one field at the outset, which is field one, oddly enough, and the rest, of course, are up for sales. Now we have the standard crops plus oats and luzerne, which is apparently what we have growing in our only field. Hmm. Alrighty, continuing on. We have a very limited number of sales points, none of which I'm going to make even the slightest attempt to pronounce, because, well, yeah, I don't know what half of these letters are, <laughs> leave alone how to pronounce them, so there you are. But, uh, yeah. And as you can see, we've got a, a couple that are just direct competitions of each other. And, uh, wow, what a difference. Obviously, we're going here to sell sugar beets, right? <laughs> All right, and then we also have milk sales because the milk pickup is turned off. Uh, wool, Ooh, that's a pretty low price for wool, let me tell you. All right, and then we have our lucerne and uh, oats. So, not bad. I mean, that's a reasonable amount of sell places for a map of this size. You know, including a couple of, obviously, specialty sort of deals that are going on. So there we are. Let's, uh, let's get back into it, shall we? Now. Hmm. Interesting. We actually have a, uh, a tip point right here. And it is Dep Map. Oh, no, I'm sorry, that's not a D, it's a... Don't know. Wow. All right, so let's look that one up. Okay, so that's this guy. And he'll basically buy standard crop... Oh, no, we're past the standard crops. He buys... Okay, wood chips, grass and straw and hay and pig fodder and... Those sort of things. Alright, so that's what that's for. Hmm, interesting. We have a functional water tower across the street. Oof, a little bit loud, but then again, you wouldn't really expect it to just be spewing water out the top pipe into nowhere. Hmm, interesting. Alright. And we also have, not very far up the road, our chick 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 chickens. Now the cows you see here and there and everywhere, these are just wild Russian cattle. And uh, you, you find them everywhere over there. Yeah. No, you, you don't. I'm just, you know, in case any of you are thinking I'm serious, I don't think I am. I might be wrong. I mean, maybe there is wild cows wandering everywhere. But uh, it is Russia, not India, so one would not expect it. Hey, buddy. You doing hiding out here in the corner? Just getting a break from? Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, I don't blame them. There's obviously some sort of conspiracy going on here. Oh, those loud chickens. 
Alright, so the chickens are nice and close by. Everything else, however, um, oddly enough, including uh, our farm, is nowhere near here. So, <laughs> kind of unique in that it's going to start us, uh, well, off in the middle of nowhere. Look at all these people. At least they're not walking down the middle of the road. Give them that. Now, there should be another point here. All right, and this one is that guy, which is this one, and he will take, ah, apparently just oats. Interesting. Hmm. This is actually quite the hill. <laughs> it doesn't look so much when you're climbing it. Well, see, now here's something I'd have to kind of wonder about, though. Could you actually live in this house? Can you imagine that? <laughs> At that kind of an angle. Man, you'd open your front door and you'd fall out into your yard. See what I mean about the, uh, yeah. I hope they're not dangerous. This one looks like it's kind of tracking this guy. Maybe it's the red shirt. Hmm. All right. And then over here, we have a pink light bank machine. All right. <laughs> Again, a building that's either sinking into the ground or the slope has taken over. But look, the cash machine is perfectly square. <laughs> so, um... No, oh, this is actually another point as well. This is that one. Mara something. This guy here, which will buy... Oh, I'm sorry, This is this Lucerne or Oats? Well, it'll buy the one that they don't. <laughs> Basically. For uh, way less money. But that's all they buy, just that single crop. Okay. But, I mean, being a bank, you wouldn't normally expect them to be buying crops, I shouldn't think. But, I suppose, depends on the area, doesn't it? Okay, now, we've also... I think I missed this. But we can also flip off our hay back here by the looks of it. Oh, indeed, look at this. Okay, so here's a point to sell hay. Interesting. And again, we've got all these little fields that... Although they're not listed on the map, they're obviously functional. Here's a potato field, you know. Sunflowers, maybe. Yeah, sunflowers for sure. And then corn. Interesting. All right, now I think at this point we're actually going to have to use our map. Because I ain't walking all the way down there, man. Uh, let's go and have a look at... Well, let's go to our farm area, shall we? All right, so this, I do believe, well, here's our fuel point, obviously, but I think over here, now this is where all of our equipment is stashed, and it's also where we've got sort of our proper fields, if you will. And speaking of which, a good time to check out some pricing. We've got almost five hectares for 388k, so they're big fields. Um... As tempting as it might be to use some nice old Russian equipment, yeah, you might want to think about how long you really want to spend <laughs> cutting these fields down. All right, and speaking of equipment, here is our equipment. And conveniently enough, there's another water point, right where we can buy, sell, and modify. So, as you can see, there's not really a lot here. Now, I am curious. Let's... Uh, Let's go in here and buy something. Let's buy ourselves a nice truck. Uh, yeah, let's just straight out buy the darn thing. Okay. Huh. Oh, here it is. All right. So, obviously, you don't need to reset things because they sort of reset themselves. Um, I don't believe any of the doors here are functional, so this building is just sort of pretend but that's okay i mean it's not like you don't have enough room in this parking lot to store all your stuff all right so not a lot here but uh, 
It works. No. Ah, oh, that's just another water point. Okay. Now we'll actually get to go out here and have a look at the map. Okay. Well, it looks like if we get out this way, we should actually get to uh, our animal point of sale, which is going to be over in this little complex. Ooh, the traffic is slow, man. 30 kilometer an hour or so. Yuck. <laughs> oh. Alrighty, open says me. Okay. So here we have Arpo Yakpoxan. Yes, indeed. Whatever that was. <laughs> Not even going to try. But we know it's this guy here, which I believe, yes, indeed, will buy all of your grains. Oh, as well as sugar beets and spatatos, which is nice. Alrighty. So, this apparently, well, it looks to be a seed and fertilizer point. Indeed. Okay, that makes good sense. Um... That just somehow doesn't strike me as a milk tank. Um, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it just doesn't. Hmm. No, I guess that is it. It's kind of odd, just, I mean... So this is a crop tip? Huh. Ah, open animal dialogue. So what would you... Oh, okay. So this is the actual sale point for the animals. Where is this? Oh, okay. That's that tip. All right. The Arpo whatever it was and this guy all right so that is the grain tip interesting there's no grate or anything else and then this one i don't believe is actually marked hmm not really okay that's fine <clears throat> I mean, it may be the milk sale. If uh, any of you are fluent in the old Russian, you probably already know what it is. Alright, so, moving on. Let's have a look here, shall we? Wow, there's just way too much traffic. I probably should have turned it off. But I didn't realize it was quite this thick. Alright, I do believe we have something down in this direction to go and visit, so let's do that. That's a couple spots. Uh, Alright, we've got this. which I'm pretty sure is our wood dealing facility. Now, they've left lots of space in the middle if you want to put a real log plant in, but we do have a sale point for, uh, what do we got? Probably wood chips and another for, uh, okay, this is that one, which is this guy. So, let's see what we've got here. Yes, indeed, that's the wood chip sales. So, now... That's all it shows there, but one would think this would be the log sales over here, since that's wood chips, and that should pretty much cover it. So again, yeah, I mean, there's way, lots of room back here if you wanted to put in a normal sawmill, you know, or a barrel factory, or a pallet factory, whatever you'd want to extend this into more of a production-type facility, they certainly left us the space to do so. 
so very nice. And... thinking that that one thing that I saw for sale is perhaps not what I thought it was. And as there apparently is a quarry down here. And for once it gets a HUD. If we put uh, hmm, fuel and something else, roast stuff, in here, we will apparently get sand. So I'm thinking that the uh, this is actually sand. I think one of these back here somewhere would be the uh, Lucerne. Maybe this. I, I thought that was a symbol for grass but it may well be Lucerne. And then this guy I would think would be the sand. And it sells there for 1,997. So, hmm, interesting. I'm not sure again what this other product roast off is. But I'm sure we can figure it out. So check it out, it's like a fancy racetrack. Of course you probably want a fancy race car because this truck doesn't run worth a heck on it. Alright, let's get out of here. Okay, now that's something I've never been a fan of, that's that particular <coughs> type of border for a map. I thought we'd gotten rid of most of that in FS15. It, it really doesn't, um, you know, add any character to a map. It actually makes it look a little bit on the cheeky side. So, nothing against the map author, just a, a bit of opinion there, guys. Alright, let's continue on. There's a nice big wheat field. There again is the end of the map, and I'm in the exact same panels of one-dimensional trees. I can't even call them two-dimensional, they're just flatter than that. Alright, so here... Indeed... And we have another point. And this is, okay, whatever that is. Ah, I think it's this I'm looking at at the moment. So they will buy wood chips? Interesting. Is that actually where I am? Oh, no, not even close. That's a little disturbing because I don't actually see that listed here. Um, <laughs> interesting. But we obviously have a proper tip point here. Oh, again, maybe not. There's no actual grate in it. Hmm. And nothing shows in the HUD. Now, I have started including in the zip files when I uh, load maps the M Company graphic, just in case we do run into uh, factories and such on these maps that have a requirement for it. Because I was told that one of the maps I reviewed the other day where nothing would come up in the HUDs to show you what crops to use, that that may well have been the issue. So, yeah, if any of you are wondering, that is no longer the issue. I'm including that in all my map reviews. As so far, every map that has required it hasn't said so. So, <laughs> better safe than sorry, since it doesn't seem they want to add the fact you need it. Alright, now... 
With that, I think what we need to actually do at this point, and yeah, I think rather than rely on this, let's go here, and let's go visit the facility to cows. So here we are, and uh, all right, I'm gonna slurry output there. This should be our animal dialogue, and it is. Let's buy ourselves some cowskis. And ten cows will do. Yes, please. There they are. Excellent. None of them are uh, taking wing. No. Good. 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 All right. It's a fair size facility, actually. Get a big trough. Wow. It'll you know, line up like two hundred cows. All right. Nice bunker. And then right beside it, we have the piggies. In all of their glory. But we'll get to those in a moment. Let's finish looking at our cow fascatility, shall we? So we've got our silage bunker. We've got a nice roofed area for all of our goodies. Uh, this, yeah, see, now that I know is milk. As opposed to whatever that other one was. So this is our pickup point for the milk. Excellent. Hmm, not sure why they've got a double trigger here. Probably just a mistake. There we are. And leads us down into the fields. Excellent. Okay. So it appears that there's no, uh, no reason to actually access a building here in the cow part. So that's all right. That's all right. Well, let's go have a look at our friends, the oinks. Do, 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 do. Uh, again, a little bit of a double trigger thing set there, and again here. Huh. Interesting. Doesn't appear that we get anything like the uh, water trough mods or grazing mods or any of that included. But then again, it is a a more old school type map, I think. You know. All right. Let's see if we can find the dialogue. There's our poop. There's our liquid. So this must be the buy me a pig window. Whoop, there we go. Yes, indeed. And let's grab ourselves 10 pigs. The princely sum of $17,000. Ah, okay. So the pig trough is a usable. Or trough, I'm sorry. The pig's building. Oh, there they are. Hello, little pigs. And there you go. Again. Come on, guys. These are living critters. Put a shade tree in the darn yard. Okay? Okay. Which is all right. I mean, if I was to play the map, you guys know the first thing I'd do is plunk a couple of shade trees right down in the middle of the piggy yard. <laughs> so, I mean, the cows have shade trees. What's wrong with the pigs? Boy, oh boy. Be picking on the piggies, I'll tell you. Not on my map review. All right, let's go and have a look. As a sheep. Bum, 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 bum. Here we go. Alrighty. So, we got all their trough works here. Excellent. Let's go see if we can buy us some sheep. This should be it here. And... Here we go. Let's buy some ships. Yes, please. Six thousand dollars worth of sheeps. And there they are. <coughs> and again, they have no shade. You poor sheep. Alright, now this I'm going to assume is going to be our bales. And... Wool pallets. Yes, indeed. Alright. And I do believe, guys, that that's uh, pretty much going to wrap up the map. So... A very, very playable compared to a couple that we've run across lately. Very playable. In fact, quite an interesting map. If the fields were a little smaller, um, it would be a nice map for uh, older equipment. Although I suppose you could do it that way. We'd get all these tiny fields in this area here. Which, like I said, I'm pretty sure they don't have an issue with you harvesting. Uh, we got a meadow out here, but we don't own it. So that might be a bit of an issue is there doesn't appear to be anything other than this for meadows. Hmm. 
That is certainly a huge meadow. Wow. But what's it going to cost us to buy? Yeah, half a million dollars. Hmm. Wow. So there you go, guys. That was SDK Borky Agro by Oleg Zayetz. So, thanks very much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And, uh, well, till next time, take care of each other, folks. And ciao for now. There will, of course, be a link to the map as well. <laughs> Bye.